Hey there. Today I'd like to tell you a story which was first explained to me by a Zen monk who looked after a temple in Japan. He told me that in the distant past, long before he was in charge of the temple, there was a famous event where a, a student had come to, to learn from the temple. And though the student had a, a job in the village, he explained to the monk in charge, the teacher, that he, he couldn't pay the, the normal monthly fee uh, or donation that most people do contribute to the temple in return for being a student. The wise Zen practitioner realized that this was a wonderful opportunity uh, to bring some form of enlightenment to this potential student. And he said to him that he was welcome to study free of charge as long as he'd be willing to take a Buddhist uh, vow, a vow to himself in order to improve himself in his daily life. The student agreed to doing this. After all, he said that meditation and the pursuit of enlightenment through meditation was the highest goal in his life. He was then led to a decorative pond at the front of the temple and asked to look into the water to see his own reflection. The vow he was asked to recite was that of never drinking alcohol, eating meat, smoking or taking any other form of mind-altering substance until he had brought his life into such balance that he was able to contribute the, uh, the very small fee the temple requested for its noble goals. As he started to recite this vow, he woke up. And he realized that actually, on a daily basis, he was spending money on alcohol, on smoking, and on meat. And that by eliminating just one of these, he could easily contribute. This gave him a, a change of priorities. It made him realize that he hadn't been being honest with himself as to what he was really valuing in his life. This is a, a lesson I like to remember myself whenever I say I don't have time for something or when I think I would uh, not have the, the financial ability to get to see a teacher or to do something that would benefit myself or others. I hope the story is also of value to you.